hi everyone and welcome previously we have uploaded two videos which is related to cap server and morbus in that first video was how you can read and write holding register value of your modbus tcp device in cap server and the second video was how you can read and write holding register value of your modbus serial or rtu device in cap server now in this video we are going to see how you can read and write output coil values of your modbus tcp device in the cap server so first of all we will go to cap server and then we can create a new channel so go to connectivity and press on new channel here it will be our modbus tcp ip ethernet channel press next so we are going to name it as a modbus channel and then we will press next again next so network adapter will be default it is okay now next next and then it will be port number 502 protocol tcp ip and then again we will press next and then we will press finish now we are going to add a new device so click to add a new device so it's our modbus pole device so right now we don't have any hardware modbus device we can try on so we are going to use modbus pole software to create our virtual modbus tcp ip device which is equipped with the output coil okay so we are going to name our device as a modbus pole and then next next and our ip address will be 127.0.0.1 and our slave id is 1 so i'll show you where we can find the slave id so we will press next again next 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 so you don't have to change anything just press next and click on finish okay so you can see here modbus channel starting unsolicited communication protocol tcp port number 502 now we can go to our modbus pole software we can go to setup and then we can click on read write definition here we have to choose our slave id so as i have previously mentioned here we have to set our slave id okay so slave id is one and then we are going to select a function as a read coil or we can say output coils number of quantity we want is 10 and then we will press okay okay now we will go to connection and then we will press on connect now we are going to set port number 502 connection is modbus tcp ip connection ip address is my local host ip address and then i'll press ok so you can see my device is up and running so you can see here created memory of slave device slave device id 1 now you can see every value is 0 of our output coil so i'll add some output coil here on also so coil 1 and then address will be you can also select address from here like this so it will be our first coil okay so i'll copy this okay we will add a new coil coil 2 and then address will be 2 okay you can see data type boolean scan rate 100 and address 1 and 2 and we will add a third coil so coil 3 address 3 it will automatically detect the data type okay so we have to press okay and then we can go to our quick client so we will maximize our click client and we can scroll down and uh, we can go to morbus pole okay so you can see data type boolean value is zero now we can change the value of coil 2 as a one so we can go to our morbus pole and then we can double click on it we will set a value on and then we can press on send okay so you can see coil 2 value is changed to 1 now if i want to write it from here so if i open it parallelly and if i right click and synchronous write i want to type a value as a 1 right now it is 0 but i want to change that change it as a 1 so i'll press okay and you can see value 1 and it reflects here and i want to change this value so slave id 1 address 2 value on and send so you can also check the value is reflecting here so this is how you can communicate your modbus tcp device output coil to cap server 
okay so if you have any doubt any question any concern in this video you can contact me on my mail or you can ping me on telegram or you can also comment on this video okay so this is how the address you have to use and um, so here all you have to take care of this address okay so we are working on the output coil so you have to use this kind of addresses and it will communicate with your modbus device and you can exchange boolean value between your modbus device and cap server and also your cap server act as a opc da so you can also read those values to somewhere in scada and as well as you can also modify that values from scada uh, to back down to your modbus tcp device so i hope everything is clear in this video so you know if you have any question where to ask so we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you